and chewy on some hot boy. Like I told Tish, I see when I. And welcome back to the Rose Session Central. I'm the Nigerian Nemesis, and in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys this super solid counter attacking battle ramp graveyard deck. This deck is absolutely solid. I was messing around with the bowler and some other splash unit stuff and trying to make a really, really good deck, and I ended up finishing it off with this deck. This might already be a deck that's made, I don't know, but it's been doing really, really good for me. So let's hop into some grand challenge matches so I can show you guys exactly how to use this deck. Basically, you have the Executioner, the Baby Dragon, and the Tornado to sweep everything up on defense. The Knight does a really good job on defense, and then you turn it all into a counterattack with the Battle Ramp and the Graveyard if you have that kind of ridiculous Elixir. If you do not, it is all good. Just the Knight and the Graveyard, as you guys know, can completely shred a tower. The Poison spell does a really good job as well. But starting up in this game, up against Charisma, we're going to go super, super hard here early on with the Battle Ram and Graveyard since he did play that Elixir Collector. Unfortunately, we did not have enough for the Poison spell. So I don't know how much damage we're going to get here. It's still a really, really good amount. And we forced him to play a lot of Elixir. So let's defend with the Knight here. That Knight's not going to pull over the Lumberjack. I forget the Lumberjack is so fast. It is absolutely ridiculous. And now that Rage is going to speed up the minions and help them clean up my Knight like nobody's business. But overall, fairly even start. I do have the slight lead, but he is definitely leading me in Elixir. So we are way behind. And we're going to have to make a huge comeback with the Executioner Tornado. This is the trade of all trades right here. For 8 Elixir, you can counter so much Elixir and get back on the map. So he's actually coming in really hot with the Elite Barbarians. We're going to play our Battle Ram here so that it can explode, break, and then bring out the barbs to try and help me defend. We're also going to use the Tornado here to suck everything to the center and take down those Barbarians. Knight will take the brunt of the hit. The hit of the Elite Barbarian, I mean to say. And now that Golem is going to explode. Our tower is falling slowly, but surely that Lumberjack is now starting to beat down on our tower. So we are getting cooked here early on in the battle, but not to worry. Not to worry. Actually, we have to worry because this is a graveyard deck. What am I talking about? I always talk about comeback decks, but here goes our Battle Ram. Since he did play the minions there, and our Battle Ram is shooting towards that tower. Can we connect? E-Barbs come down. We are going to connect, and that Barbarian will get a swing with the help of the Executioner. And now we have two Elite Barbs rushing at us. I think a Tornado will be all it will take for us to stop these Elite Barbarians. I don't think we're going to need to drop this Knight. Risky, risky, risky. Barbarian gets a swing onto our tower. I say I'm happy with that. Either way, I think he was going to take that tower sooner or later. So let's go ahead and start defending this left side and see if we can create an insane counter push to try and take that tower. Right now, we've got to worry about this Golem and Elite Barbarian combination. One of the strongest combinations, in my opinion, and that Golem deck is very good against other Golem decks. So for right here, we're going to use a Tornado and bring everything to the center, and we are looking really, really good. We destroyed all of his supporting troops with ease, and now all we have is a Golem. And look what we have on our side of the map. This deck is so good against beatdown decks. We just stack everything up, and now we're rushing in super Super hot with the golem, or I mean with the graveyard, and now we've got a poison going down. Battle Ram's gonna connect to the tower. All of that is on the tower. His tower fell so fast. Within like five seconds, he lost his tower there. So that's the power of this deck right here. We're gonna secure a 2-0 victory, actually, since he did not go in for our tower. So unlucky for him, he didn't get his crown chest. But we will take that solid, solid 2-0 win for the first battle. And I'm really, really enjoying this deck. When I'm going to push towards the end of the season, this will be one of the decks that I look at since it does counter a lot of things that just having the Executioner and Tornado in any deck really helps you. Let's pop open this crown chest real quick. Nothing special. A couple Dark Goblins. Not too shabby at all. Let's hop into the second battle of the day up against this guy from Grand Crown. Let's see how this deck can suit for us. And we've got a pretty solid starting hand, honestly, with the Battle Ram and the Baby Dragon, the Tornado. So we're going to start with the uh, Battle Ram right here. Just to distract, I think the Baby Dragon would have been a way better play, but I, I slipped my finger over there towards the right side, and that's exactly what happened. Actually, not a bad play at all, since he was forced to bring out his Executioner now. Now we're going to counter his Executioner. So we're countering the counterattack with the Baby Dragon. We're going to distract here right in a second with the Knight, and then start ourselves a counter push. So now the Knight is still at, sitting at full health, and we've got this Graveyard coming back at him. This is the scariest thing in the game right here. The Graveyard is going to town. He's going to bring in the Tornado to suck all of our skeletons and all of our troops towards the left side and even play the Goblin Gang. So we got him to play so much Elixir and look at that. None of it's even going to come back to our side except for that Lone Spear Goblin who will probably get a shot off. But that's 
A-OK -okay with me. Since we have a huge, huge, huge Elixir lead, we're just going to go in hot. Actually, he's going to play the Expo, so lucky for us, our Battle Ram is going to connect onto that, to deal some serious damage to it, and now... I mean, that Expo still has some pretty decent health, so we're going to poison the tower and start to take it down, as well as take down the Expo, and that Expo is going to fall. Now I know he has the Expo, now I'm going to save my Knight to take for the Expo, create a huge counterattack, and destroy this guy's tower. Left tower is down to 1093, so we are looking pretty good here. Baby Dragon going in hot, just to make him play something and react, since he did just play his Executioner in the back. Baby Dragon should be able to get some couple of shots off. He actually plays his Goblin Gang. Terrible play, in my opinion. He didn't need to waste that. He wanted to save his tower damage, but now we can do the exact same thing we did early on in this battle. Play our Knight to distract. He's going to Fireball our Executioner, but Knight's going to stay alive here. In this push right here, we're not even going to need the Graveyard. Once that Executioner falls, we're going straight in with the Battle Ram, and I think that's going to be enough. Knight v Knight over there, and now our Battle Ram is free to get to the tower. He is going to log, so that's going to stop our charge, but we're still going to get a hit off onto that tower. And now we have two Barbarians going to town. They are going to freeze up and slow down just a little bit, but not to worry, not to worry at all. That single Barbarian... Is still going ham. He's going to play his Executioner there in the center. I mean, decent play, I guess. But now we've got this wall of defense. There's no way he's going to play. He actually does play his Expo into all of that. Bad move. We're going to shred that Expo in no time. Poison's on the tower, so that's going to do some solid damage. And now all of our troops are targeting his Knight. We're just getting so much value out of our troops because it is a counter-attacking deck. We force people to play into us. We counter-attack, set the Graveyard off onto the tower, and they are in huge trouble. So Executioner will help clean up this Goblin Gang on the right side. And it looks like he's trying to switch lanes here. I mean, that's a good idea. Obviously, you don't want to play your Expo in the center of that gap. Otherwise, I can just place troops all around it. So not to worry, we have the Battle Ram, we have the Poison, the Knight, the Executioner. All of this is going to stop that lone Expo. And even after the Fireball comes down, the, ba the Barbarians will pop out. Graveyard just to surround the Expo for whatever reason. And that's going to secure the victory 2-0 on the day with this super solid Graveyard deck. The Graveyard's one of the best finesse cards in the game. And just with all these sit-back counter-attacking cards, it makes this deck so much fun to use. And it does really, really well against the beatdown that everybody is running with the Golem and Night Witch and the Golem and Lumberjack and all those things. This deck does a really good job of absorbing it and then charging back at them with the Battle Ram. And it's so hard to stop. And even when you're desperate, if you need a desperate push, just go for the Battle Ram Graveyard. I mean, you have to stop the charge of the Battle Ram. You have to stop the two Barbarians and you have to stop the Graveyard. So that those things right there make it really tough. But starting in this battle up against Will, we're just going to start with our Battle Ram. And it's going to get absolutely shut down by that P.E.K.K.A. He is sitting really low on Elixir. He did play the P.E.K.K.A. and the Bomber, so that Bomber will not get supported. So now we can start with our Executioner here in the back. And we've got our Tornado ready just in case. We don't want our Executioner to just die for no reason at all whatsoever. So our Tornado is going to bring it back all the way over here. And now the Executioner has plenty of time to take down this P.E.K.K.A. without it getting a swing. Sword was up to ready to smack the Executioner on his head. But check this out. We've got the Executioner, the Knight. And you know what that means. We are now setting up for our Graveyard. There is no chance he's going to counter this. We are so far ahead in Elixir. It looks like he's just going to leave that tower because he is done there. I don't even know if he's still here in this game. I know he's low on Elixir, but let's go ahead and rush in. Okay, so he is still here. He did arrow. So maybe I should not have rushed in there. But our Battle Ram will still... Oh, no, he won't. The Battle Ram is going to get stopped by the e -Wiz, And now he's playing a Bomber. Our Executioner is doing his best to try and clean all that up. That Barbarian is going to go towards the Bomber. Swing on his head. And now we've got a dead push coming back at us. And a graveyard as well. Pekka graveyard. That's very interesting. That's a combination I might actually try out later on. We will see what happens there. But right now that graveyard is going to get absolutely shut down. We are going to play the Knight on top of the Bomber. Because the Bomber does so much damage if you let him get towards your tower. So now we have this mini, mini counter push. I was going to sit back. But now nah, let's go for the graveyard and see if we can get this 3 crown on this guy. While he is low in the elixir. He's forced to play a Pekka. So he's not going to have much to stop that graveyard. Does he have his arrows in his hand? He has a zap and, okay, so he has zap and arrows, so that did stop our graveyard, but nonetheless, we took his tower all the way down to 2070. That's even lower than our left crown tower, but now we have to deal with this P.E.K.K.A. that is coming back towards us with the arches. Not to worry, we've got the best defense in the game. As I say in almost all these videos when I have it, the Executioner and the Tornado, and just look at this. Look at how it mops up. We don't even need the Tornado in this point, just because the Bomber lined up nicely, but our Baby Dragon will help us take down this graveyard psych boy he's gonna drop a freeze on all of that so that's gonna go down not to worry i'm gonna trick this guy right here we've got a push coming on the left side we're gonna make him forget about that by playing our knight and battle ram on the right side and now that he played his pekka we're gonna go for a graveyard poison while we have our tanks going down that poison is gonna clean up his arches and now we have the execution we have the baby dragon we've got all of this onto his tower 
as well as the skeletons. That tower is falling pretty quickly. Skeletons are still getting stabbed at that tower. Executioner is going to throw his battle axe one more time. Tower is down to 54. Baby Dragon's going to splash on it, and that's going to be a three crown W with this graveyard deck. This deck is absolutely insane. So, guys, do me a favor and try this deck out. Trust me if you have all these cards. This deck will do wonders for you. We are easily 3 0 in this challenge. And since the graveyard is what it is, even at level 1, you can use it on the ladder. So I'm pretty sure this deck does not need any super high level cards for you to run it. Of course, it's nice to have a higher level card, but the Battle Ram is so good. And this is the deck for you guys one more time with the defensive wall of the Executioner Baby Dragon Knight. And then counterattacking with the Battle Ram and the graveyard if you have enough elixir with the poison. So this deck is super, super awesome. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead. Drop that like, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for some more future daily Clash Royale content, and I hope you guys go on and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace!